いくぞはい。And our next raid was on the night of Christmas Eve. And I was really stressing out. The rationale? I knew if we did not get the final mythic boss down by Christmas Eve. Guys, what's mythic raids? I, I don't play WoW, so I don't know. Does anyone here play WoW? I'm assuming that's like savage content. It's like endgame shit. As I heard, I heard it was like heroic and mythic. So what's a heroic and what's a mythic? I'm assuming mythic is like the hardest shit. And heroic is like... Under it or some shit? The kill will probably only come in mid January like after savage. the festive holidays, due to the usual attendance issues over the New Year's break. And we have been progging mm. the boss for five to six weeks at this point. Everyone in the roster was anxious for a kill. I have been sleep deprived for a few months now. I was always obsessing about the roster, the locks, and how to optimize our yeah. raid strategy. My yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. I'm gonna be going through that in Endwalker. I kind of already am in a way, like I want everyone to optimize and shit. My life revolved around World of Warcraft. I would dash home from work being annoyed whenever I was caught in a traffic jam because that meant I had less time for the game, which meant I had to True. sleep later that night because I had to get my dailies done across several characters that I was prepping I feel for that. raid. And mind you, I didn't enjoy the daily. No more heroic mythic. Ah, okay, thanks. But I enjoyed what the dailies allowed me to do which is raiding at the very top end of the game, ensuring that I min-max my character. And for those who are curious why I was maintaining a few characters for raids, I was raid leading as a priest healer main. But Queen Ajara, the final boss of that tier, had a mechanic called Beckon that seduces you to walk towards her, and if you got uh. in range of her, you get mind control. The way to cheese it, to make the fight easier, was to heal as a paladin instead, because you're the only healer with a spell that makes people immune to the- So wow, paladin heals, just like in FF. That's pretty cool. Effects of Beckon. Anyway, the wife has never complained about my commitment to video games. Not once throughout my entire 13 years of being with her. But I always knew deep down I could be spending way more quality time with her. True. And being more present whenever we are conversing or just having a night out. For instance, we will be out having a wonderful dinner and I'll be checking the time because I had to go home before server resets to smash up my dailies. Mm. And in my defense, this was a time before the great content and copium drought of 2021. The co copium drought. Copium was really strong back then and <laughs> I, I was like definitely that. hooked on the game. That very night, two days before Christmas Eve, the wife woke me up in the middle of the night and she said she was concerned if I was having some nightmare of sorts. And she recounted how I was saying pretty loudly in my sleep phrases like, stack here, use defensive cooldowns <laughs> when the spear goes out, the air is spawning. And at the moment, I knew I was raid leading Queen Ajara in my sleep again. Just like mapping shit out in your brain as you're sleeping. Stack here, split here, spread. Yeah, I, I feel that, I feel that. Like, it's funny because I have that too, like with my static, like I'm just imagining we're in these scenarios like, all right, let's stack, let's stack, let's move out. Like as if like it's all happening in real time, but in my dream. I, I, I completely get that. I have that a it's lot. It's all very funny for me and the wife to look back on that now and laugh. But seriously, what the hell was I doing with my life back then? By the way, we did get the kill of <laughs> Queen Ajara on Christmas Eve the next night. And I will admit it's one of the most satisfying moments of playing World of Warcraft. Though the price to pay from a personal life standpoint was definitely hefty. Mm. Fast forward to the summer of 2021. I was bored of playing 9.1. The new Torghast grinds that required me to recraft legendary certainly did not help. A few of my close friends yeah. had started playing Final Fantasy XIV and convinced me to give it a shot. And I figured, why not? It's a free trial anyway. I have nothing the to meme. lose. And the rest is history. As you folks know, this is well documented in my 53 episodes of playthrough. From A Realm Reborn to Shadowbringers on this channel, and while I was certainly having a blast exploring the brand new world of Eorzea, what was even more surprising is the wife started to note some behavioral changes she saw in me, which I certainly did not pick up on. Oh. The first thing that she told me was she witnessed how my shoulders were less stiff, almost as though I was more relaxed on a day-to-day -day basis. 
I started talking slower whenever I'm around her, almost as though my body knew there were no dailies or weekly mythic class that I had to rush off to do. I was even more calm uh... and composed when fighting peak hour traffic on the way home. The second thing she noticed was how I was more present around her. Not just in terms of time spent, which definitely went up in terms of duration. That's cool. I feel like FF14 really does that. It gives you like that relaxation feel. Like it doesn't feel like... I don't know, like even I'm doing savage progs and shit, I don't feel like uh, tensed up, you know? It's like I'm here to have fun, I'm jumping in with seven other players, let's fucking go, you know? But also in terms of quality. I was actively listening to what she was saying instead of having my mind wandering off to other topics mm. or having to check my rating discord and DMs every now and then when we are conversing. The third and most important thing that she told me, which I noticed myself too, was how much more productive and creative I was. Now if you don't believe me, you can look back on the quantity and quality of the outputs of videos on this channel for the first half of 2021 versus the videos in the second half of 2021. It is night and day. Keep mm. in mind, even though the wife doesn't play video games anyway, she was actually my very first subscriber when I started taking YouTube seriously about one year and four months ago, one and she could notice the drastic changes in quality of the videos. And if I were to guess why I was more productive and creative, it probably goes back to having more quality time to rest and sleep once I was done with the addiction of going through the MSQs. My wife loves Final Fantasy XIV, not That's because cool. she played the game, but because of the positive changes she saw in me, as well as in the time that we spent together as That's a married cool. couple. And Yoshi P says it best. His view is that players should feel free to take breaks from Final Fantasy XIV if they feel like it. Since I've started playing Final Fantasy XIV, I never once felt the compulsive need to log in or else I will fall behind in terms of character progression. Mm. And if I were to log into the game, it's entirely out of my own choice of seeking enjoyment with a childlike wonder rather than out of responsibility or a sense of commitment. Case in points, there are nights where I opt to play other games with friends I've made in the Final Fantasy community. Like just the other day, I tweeted out a photo of me playing Cool Op Star. This is the game Fury plays. My friend, he loves Stardew Valley. It's pretty chill though. Stardew Valley with five of my other Final Fantasy friends, which we jokingly deemed as a play session to prepare us for Island Sanctuary's launch. Huh. And you know what's the absolute best part about having a wife that loves the game that you are currently playing? Knowing how important Ann Walker's launch is to me, given I've arranged to take time off from work for that, she told me she understands I will no life the game at launch. And on her end, she's arranged for a vacation with her folks, just to ensure I get the time and space to thoroughly enjoy the launch. Speaking about Ann- Dude, her, his wife is sick, man. Like, legit. You know what's funny, by the way, chat? He has a poster that says, stay positive, work hard, make it happen. And then his t-shirt says, just do it later. <laughs> I get that. I just realized. Just do it later, snorks. Walker launch, I'll keep putting up videos. Whatever this Pokemon guy is. On this channel to keep Whatever you folks entertained. Snorlax. As we count down towards the coming of an end. So make sure you hit that subscribe button here. There'll be more videos coming to the waiting room of Ann Walker. And if you're looking to hear oh, okay. more about how Final Fantasy XIV has changed my outlook Good on video. MMOs, this video here will tell you how I've changed my view on the social aspects of playing MMORPGs like I was so wrong about Glamour. Final Fantasy XIV. A shout out to my Patreon sub- Glamour is a big part of the game, would you guys say?